Hello everyone, this is Amrit Pal Singh. Welcome to the next video of Scala. In this video, I'll be talking about functions in Scala. Functions are nothing but the group of statements through which we do a certain task. So functions are available in all the programming languages and Scala is not an exception, right? So let's uh, start with this. Uh, first of all, let's see how we can write our first function in Scala. This is the like simple example I have taken in which I'm just adding two numbers. Let's explore this, like what's the meaning of each and every term used in this example. The functions in the Scala always starts with the DEF keyword. You can see DEF is a keyword used for defining a function, followed by the function name. In this case, it's sum, S-U-M. Followed by we are having the parenthesis in which we specify the function parameters. Like in this case, we are having two function parameters available. And with the function parameters are X and Y of type double each. It is telling us that our function will take two parameters, right? Followed by we specify the return type of the function. Like in this case, after colon, we are having return type available. It means this function will return data or the result in the double type. Then we have equal to available and at last the functions body is wrapped in the curly brackets. You can see it here. The function body says X plus Y, which is uh, wrapped in a curly brackets. This is the meaning of the first example. This is how we can write our first function. Now let's move further. This is a generalized syntax of the functions. DEF space function name in the uh, parenthesis. We have, we have we can specify our parameters colon return type equal to then in our curly bracket specify the function body this is how we can call the function like with this the function will be created but we need to call how we can call we can call like this sum the function name then specify in the parenthesis the actual values which uh, will be 2 and comma 3 so answer will be 5 so it will be a uh, store in a total and we can print this total the answer will be 5 which will be printed on the console this is how we can call a function how we can call the function within the functions. Let's suppose we have a one function available, which is uh, just a square. It means it will be doing the square of a number. We are having a single parameter in this function, which is X. So it will be doing X into X means answer will be uh, uh, the square of the number. Like if you are passing five, so answer will be 25. Now we are having another function available, which is square sum. It means it will be doing the sum of squares. So it, in this case, square sum is a one function because it is defined with the DEF plus square is also a function which we have defined here. It means I'm calling square inside the square sum function. It means we are calling function within the functions. So it will be doing the sum of squares. So if we pass two comma five here, answer will be four plus 25 because it's a sum of squares. So answer will be 29. It means we have a uh, we, we can pass function within the function in Scala as well. Now, how the things will be evaluated, right? We are having concept of substitution model, which is further divided into two parts, call by value and call by name. Let's see this. The idea underlying this model is that evaluation simply reduce uh, expressions to a value. What it means, let's see one example. Let's suppose we have the same, uh, like we have a same example that we have taken here in which we have a square function and we have a square sum function available. And if we pass two comma four plus one, right? Instead of passing two comma five, uh, we are now using here two comma four plus one. How the function will be evaluated? We are having two mechanisms available under the substitution model. One is called by value, one is called by name. This is the call by value, right? Let's suppose if we are using now square sum two comma four plus one, like in this case, how the things will be evaluated. So I'm just uh, representing in the graphical form here. First of all, it will be reduces this four plus one into, into the five. So it will be two comma five now, then it will be given to the square. You can see it here. We are having a square X plus square Y. Then it will be, uh, it will be doing the square of that two, two into two, right? And uh, the square five is still in the same position. There's no evaluation of square five yet. So it will be first evaluated four plus square five. Then it will be uh, then then five into five come into picture. Then it will be 25. So four plus five will be given as 29. It means what we are doing here, we are just simply reduces the expression to a value. In this case, we are reducing the expression to a value. This is the call by value, right? Then we have a, this is the meaning of call by value. The substitution model is simply evaluating the expression by reducing it to a value. But how do we know that order in which expressions are to be evaluated, right? So for this, we have a call by value and call by name, as I've already stated the, the, this is the example of call by value. We are doing it in a call by value because we are reducing the expression to a value here. 
so call by value copies the actual arguments of a function to its formal parameters like in this case 4 plus 1 is a actual parameter and we are pa we are mapping to a formal argument which is y here right because we are doing what square x plus square y 2 comma 4 plus 1 4 plus 1 is expression and in this case it's actual value we are mapping this to a y here right like in this case it's specified 4 plus 1 is actual argument which is being copied to a formal parameter y the advantage of cbv means call by value is that it evaluates every function argument only once this is the like advantage we get with the call by value this is how call by value works it means it it just reduces the expression to a a its value so next we have a call by name what it means it uses the actual arguments as it is in the function let's suppose here we are doing 4 plus 1 first it evaluate to 5 you can see it in the example as well it is first uh, doing this computation to 5 then it proceed further but in the case of call by name it did not be doing in this in this way what did happen what happen in this case let's suppose we have this example same example in this case it is uh, it is not converting this into 5 it, it will be just pass, pass the things to the another function as it is so square 2 plus square 4 plus 1 first this it will be evaluated 2 into 2 plus square 4 plus 1 then we will be getting answer 4 then it will be uh, doing this 4 plus 1 square in the same way it means it's not converting it this into a 5 in the case of call by name so 4 plus 4 plus 1 into 4 plus 1 first it will be evaluated 5 into 4 plus 1 then 4 plus 1 will be converted to the 5 at last answer will be 29 mind you in both the cases we are getting the same answer but it is how the things are different means what's our what's our like methodology they are using in in both cases we are having different methodology different cases let's now conclude this while taking one uh, some couple of more examples simply put cpv will evaluate every expression to its final value before calling the function regardless of regardless of if the function body needs it or not in this case what it means like it first evaluate the every expression to its final value we have seen this but in the case of call by name it not be evaluated the things before calling the function because it's it pass the things as it is cbn on the other hand will take the expression required by the body of the function and pass them to a function just as you pass them we have seen in this example 4 plus 1 is passed as it is right plus in the case of cbv it is also mentioned one more thing here like whether uh, the function body requires it or not it actually evaluate right but in the case of cbn we, we, it only first of all it will be passing the things as it is plus only the things will be passed which is required by the function body let's suppose if we are having x comma y but the function body only require x right but cbv do the things like it 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 will evaluate the things for both x and y even if it's the y is not required in the function body but in the case of cbn first of all it will be passing the things as it is plus it only be passing the things to a function body which is required right you can see it here it's mentioned here like uh, it will take the expression required by the body of the function and pass them to a function just as you pass that them and it then reduces the function to their final uh, value in the function body for instance we could have a function which takes two parameters but only uses the first one in its function body let's take one example let's suppose this is a simple function in this case <coughs> only x is required in the function body but we do have a two we do have a two parameters x comma y available so you can then uh, call that function passing it the two expression let's suppose we are passing 1 plus 1 comma 1 plus 2 mind you in this case only x is required not y means 1 plus 2 is not required right as it is so how the cbv will start evaluating it will be evaluating 2 comma 3 even though 3 is not required in the function body but in the case of cbn it will be just evaluating 1 plus 1 why 1 plus 1 because only x is required and 1 plus 1 is correspond to the x here right this is the meaning of cbn let's take one more example let's suppose we have one function available in which we are just doing the square of a number but we do have a but we have a two parameters available x y but in the function body only x is required how the cbv and cbn will behave uh, let's suppose this is what we have to pass 3 plus 4 comma 8 cbv first it will be evaluating 7 comma 8 and then it will be giving you 7 into 7 equal to 49 but in the case of cbn because we are it will be taking this 3 plus 4 as it is so 3 plus 4 into 3 plus 4 first first one thing will be evaluated 7 into 3 plus 4 then 7 into 7 equal to 49 this is how the cbn will work 
and this marks the end of this video in which i have just explained what is function how we can create our first function what are the different evaluation strategies we use the substitution model which is further divided into two parts cbv and cbn i hope you must have understood in case something is not clear please uh, please comment on this video i'll be looking forward to your comment and rest of the things i'll be covering in the next video thanks for watching guys see you next video